This video is about how to install PyCharm EDU in Ubuntu 20.04. It also covers the installation of PIP, a Python package manager, and virtual ENV so that you can configure PyCharm to write Python programs. Although the video does not cover PyCharm CE or Community Edition, all the steps in this video also apply to PyCharm CE. Virtual Environments in PyCharm PyCharm, a free integrated development environment, or IDE, is designed for students and teachers. It has a simpler and adjustable UI user interface than PyCharm Community Edition. Educators can also build educational project types for their students. Now, PyCharm is designed to work with Python virtual environments. Virtual environments allow for separate Python dependencies to be used for separate projects. So a good first step before installing PyCharm will be to install a virtual environment. Virtual ENV will be installed first in this video. The outcomes you would expect from this video would be to install PIP, Python Standard Package Manager, then Virtual ENV in Ubuntu. Then install PyCharm EDU using Ubuntu software. Then you can verify PyCharm works without configuring a virtual environment. And you can also verify that PyCharm works configuring a virtual environment. Minimum requirements would be Ubuntu 20.04 and an internet connection. And then I've got some additional info. And you can either stop this video and view this page or take a look at the description section below this video on the YouTube page. Software used in video production is noted below. And finally, there is a disclaimer. You can stop the video and read all this stuff, but I'm not going to read it out. Next, I'll be installing PIP and Virtual ENV in the first section of this video. So in this section, I'm going to install PIP, the Python Package Manager, and Virtual ENV so that you can develop Python programs with separate dependencies. First, I'm going to have to go to the terminal. I can do that by clicking on the terminal, which is right here on the left, or I can use Control-Alt-T to bring up a terminal. First, I want to make sure I've got everything up to date before I make any changes. sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade dash y. That dash y is, stands for yes, so I don't have to type in yes later on. So everything's up to date. So now I'm going to install pip. sudo apt install python3 dash pip. Should have added the dash y, shouldn't I? The python package manager is installed. Now I'm going to install virtual env. The way to do that is pip install virtual env. In case I don't have to use a Y. So now both of those are installed. It says warning the script is virtual env is installed in home mic location bin which is not on path. Basically it's on my local directory and I'm pretty sure PyCharm can find it there after I install PyCharm but I may have to do some extra work to get a different version of Python which is 3.10 on this machine to work. So I'll do that extra work if I need to. So the next Thing I'm going to do is go and install PyCharm. So now I'm going to install PyCharm EDU. We come over here where it says show applications. Click. Then type in software. And then click on Ubuntu software, the suitcase here. Software catalog is being downloaded. Then I'm going to come over here to development. Click on development. And look for PyCharm EDU. Click on that one. You can read a little bit about this information and reviews and everything. But I'm just going to click install. Of course it asks for my password. So now it's installed. I'm going to close it. Now I can find it. Click right here. And then type in PyCharm. There it is. Now it's opening up, and basically, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to go right here, 
click on PyCharm EDU and add to favorites. And then I'm going to exit this because in my next section, I'm going to talk about configuring PyCharm and I'm going to open it up again to configure it. So in this section, I'm going to demonstrate configuring PyCharm without using a virtual environment. But before I do that, I need to find out where Python is located on this computer. So I go back to the terminal, open up a terminal, and I'll do a list dash ls. And I know that Python is located in the USR bin directory. And I'll look for all Pythons, and then I'll add a star, which means zero or more characters after the N. Hit enter. And I look down here, and I've got Python 3.10 and Python 3.8. And this link here, Python 3, points to Python 3.8. And then I've got some config files and some futurize and pasteurize and all that stuff. But it's Python 3.10 and Python 3.8. And then to double check that maybe somebody stuck Python version anyplace else on the computer, I can do a where is... Python. It says there's a USR lib Python 2.7. I don't think Ubuntu 20.04 has Python 2.7, so I'm not sure exactly what that's referring to. Oh, that's in the library. It's not in the uh, binary section. Okay, so now I know I've got two versions of Python, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start PyCharm so that I can configure it to run correctly. Because that's really where most people that first start out with uh, PyCharm, that's where they get into a little bit of uh, frustration. I'll confirm that I've read and accept the terms of this agreement. Click Continue. And I'm going to click Don't Send because these are actually virtual machines. I just use them and reconfigure them. I've got two choices here in PyCharm EDU. Learner and Educator. I'm going to pick Learner. Start using EduTools. It starts in the dark mode. And I'm going to switch it to light mode because I think that shows up better on uh, YouTube videos. Click New Project. And I'm going to hit Control-Alt-S. Goes to Theme, Dracula, Tele-J Light. Click OK. And so I'm back here, Python Project. It says New Environment Using Virtual ENV. So I look. I'm not going to use any of these, so I can't work from that. So I'm going to go to previously configured interpreter and says no interpreter. Let's see if I got any choices here. No choices. So I'm going to click over here. It says new environment. In this case, I'm going to go to system interpreter. And you'll notice that it says Python 3.8. And I'm going to need admin permission to install packages. That's because I'm not creating a virtual environment. So anything I install will affect the whole computer, and click OK, and then Create. We'll have to wait for all these indexes to finish before I can run this program. If you look at the program, it says print f string high, and whatever the name is, and you go down here in the main section, it says high. PyCharm, print hi, hi PyCharm. And you can add whatever you want to it, play around with it. Now PyCharm may take a little while to index everything. You'll notice you've got this little green triangle here. Let's click on that, run the program. It says hi PyCharm. So that's how you configure PyCharm EDU and also PyCharm Community Edition if you don't want to run a virtual environment inside of PyCharm. Yeah, I'm going to leave it open. And in the next section, I'm going to talk about setting up virtual environment for PyCharm. In this section, I'm going to show you how to configure PyCharm for using virtual environments. So we go to File, New Project, Location, call it Project 1. I'm going to click right here where it says Python Interpreter. And I'm going to click right here, New Environment. And you'll notice we got Virtual ENV, Pipe ENV, Poetry, and Conda. I'm going to leave it at Virtual ENV. So we've got the VENV folder, Python 3.8. Now, that this is default Python version on this machine, so that will probably work without any problems as far as PyCharm is concerned. Make available to all projects and click Create. 
and this window. Creating virtual environment. Now we've got to index to files. Now one thing you'll notice up here, you've got a VENV folder. In this case, it's on the same level as main.py, but there's all kinds of different ways that that VENV folder can be organized. And that's a big point of contention among some developers. So finally, I've got this little triangle. So let's execute it and make sure everything's working. Okay, so no problem configuring PyCharm to work with the default Python. So let's go file, new project, project two, and new environment. We're going to do virtual ENV, and we're going to use a different interpreter this time. I'm going to go and actually look for USR bin, open up bin, and look for Python 3.10. There it is. Python 3.10, click OK. Here at Global Sites, make available to all projects. Click Create, and we'll make it this window. And you'll notice it says fail to create virtual environment. Now that's because when Dead Snakes installed Python 3.10, there are some items left off that may not be necessary, but PyCharm wants them on there. So I'm going to click OK as far as that details is OK. And if you look up here, there's no VENV. So let me open up the terminal and fix that problem. So in order to fix it, I'm going to have to install something on, along with Python 3.10. sudo apt install python 3.10-venv. Hit enter, password. Do you want to continue? Yes. So it's going to the dead snakes PPA. If you don't have the personal package manager from Dead Snakes, you're going to have to go to another video of mine on how to install Python 3.10 to figure that one out. Okay, so that's there. So I should be able to get everything working now. Configure Python interpreter. And I've got interpreter settings. Let's add an interpreter. And Virtual ENV, new environment, Python 3.10, click OK. Again, so this time it should work. Click OK. Again, index everything. So this time we've got the triangle and in case I forgot to mention it, there's the VNV folder. So let's run the program. And it's high PyCharm. Everything works correctly. Now, PyCharm CE is a little more complicated, but as far as setting your configuration, it's exactly the same. The only difference between PyCharm education as far as the user interface is PyCharm CE or Community Edition has got a lot more little menus here and can help you with more advanced projects. Thank you for watching this video.